Hello everyone, this is Ksenia Mia Bragilovsky out of 106 Mont Calm Boulevard in Vaughan, Ontario, Canada, 7.59 p.m. on the 20th of July. Uh, another video communication on my involuntary detention, for lack of a better term, here in uh, municipality of Vaughan in uh, Ontario, Canada. Uh, so, effectively, uh, just to reiterate, I'm uh, sitting here, I've uh, already raised my concerns with the uh, York Regional Police, with the um, uh, Municipality of Vaughan, uh, with the um, uh, Toronto Police, as well as uh, uh, UN um, departments, to which I emailed, but again, my communications are being tampered with, both phone and online, so... For 17 years, I've been made a target. First of all, I've been made a target back home in USSR, which then became Uzbekistan, okay? Uh, and then I was uh, trafficked into Canada as a slave to be used uh, for various purposes of uh, uh, locals, um, intelligent agencies, uh, local uh, businesses to use me as a bait for criminal investigations, uh, financial crime investigations, uh, for breeding uh, uh, with the tint of ethnic cleansing. Again, I repeat, I'm 38 years of age. I've been discriminated throughout uh, my 17 year stay here based on my genetic uh, uh, qualifications. Um, I've been forcefully sterilized because I cannot uh, describe my experience here in Canada other than being um, uh, persecuted based on my ethnicity, my socioeconomic status, my family associations, and my genetics, okay? Um, to elaborate a little bit, and uh, of course, by all means, we are what uh, uh, our families are and where we are coming from, absolutely. So I was um, born into a marriage to uh, two individuals that um, stayed in a marriage for seven years, okay? So I cannot explain my existence other than a conscious agreement between the two adults to have a child, okay? Uh, so having a child meant effectively that my father abandoned the relationship three years into uh, my life and fled the country shortly after, uh, not providing, not supporting me in any way, shape or form, okay? So I was left with my mother in a territory that then became Uzbekistan after the collapse of Soviet Union. So um, as you can imagine, and if you read up a little bit on the, on the geopolitical situation and the ethnographic characteristics of uh, countries of the post-Soviet area, most um, underprivileged um, socio socioeconomically and socioculturally uh, females were left to fend for themselves. Okay, fending for themselves meant that um, you had to do what you had to do. You had to uh, sort of uh, be employed and uh, perform uh, jobs and uh, stay in jobs to provide for yourself. Okay. Um, so my mother stayed in uh, uh, 1991 uh, Republic of Uzbekistan, which used to be um, part of USSR, but then became this whole uh, predominantly Muslim country, okay? And um, yeah, my father uh, left for Russia to be employed in whatever um, offices, employers, companies, agencies that he was recruited into. I have no insight into that, but um, I can only sort of um, suspect that he was employed in some of the businesses, some of the state uh, departments, okay? So my situation here in Canada was not uh, very certain to me, okay? So this health state of my mother, that was in, uh, who was infected with STD, syphilis, to be more specific, um, which fact was not disclosed to me at any point in time. Okay, although the Ministry of Health and the local intelligence uh, agencies knew about that. Okay, no one took me out of the situation. 
So everyone kept me in a situation of uh, not seeing, not owing, not comprehending, not consenting, and being kept in this uh, state of uh, being an inanimate object of sorts to be used for casting into this life story or into that life story. And the life stories that were <clears throat> picked out for me were predominantly those that uh, um, uh, of impoverishment, of discrimination, of denial of uh, medical attention, denial of opportunities to provide for myself, discriminating in the residential settings, uh, incriminating me, undermining me, vandalizing my property. Uh, and to this day, and I've raised these concerns with the municipality of Vaughan, I am being surrounded by ill wishers, um, those people who are essentially assessing me right now, okay, because they have this opportunity, they've been uh, exercising this opportunity for the past 17 years, okay? Why it is that I uh, get that, but didn't do this, why I behave that, but not like this? Um, what can I say? I can say that underprivileged, Slavic individuals are being lured into Canada for the purposes of breeding, primarily for uh, cleansing out and for breeding uh, white people. But in the way, uh, the way it is done, uh, it's done with um, sort of a tint of uh, ethnic cleansing um, at an expense of especially female Slavic women who are being um, impoverished on purpose, okay, we are being undermined. I'm not going to speak for others, but whoever I knew or came across um, with or sort of interacted at one point in time or the other, all of these females were sort of um, slotted into um, very shaky situations. Uh, very questionable uh, employment, uh, very questionable unions, etc., etc., etc. So, locals, of course, they will have all of the inheritances, all of the uh, properties, um, and they will be coming into possession of everything that was accumulated for them by their parents. We are coming here, our parents are being undermined, they are dying here. They're just dying here, and we are being used as a resource, as a resource, okay, as a human resource to, uh, for criminal investigations, for crime investigations, for white collar crime investigations, organized crime investigations, co uh, corruption investigations. Essentially, we are being, uh, we are being treated as inanimate objects. We are inanimate, this is how I was treated. I cannot find any other more befitting term, but an inanimate object that's being um, forced into a marriage and kept into a marriage with congenitally ill individual, with all of the repercussions, etc., etc., being discriminated, harassed, humiliated, mocked, um, uh, illegally dismissed from jobs, recruited into bogus jobs, uh, being kept in uh, untenable conditions against any building uh, codes or um, standards, okay, um, widespread in uh, the countries of G7, at least, okay, so I'm being kept in this house that's uh, being targeted for vandalism by intelligent officers who are assessing at this point, because I cannot find another explanation for their actions, they are trespassing and they are dropping virtue, they are dropping uh, small uh, piles of excrement on some other shit into my property to see how I would react. Well, you do this all over the world, okay? And the reactions of people to your um, obscured um, acts of malice vary, okay? But your reconnaissance missions into people um, sort of qualifications and uh, beliefs and uh, um, viewpoints uh, are different. I see that what you're trying to do, you, what, you, you want me to 
uh, start dropping shit all over the uh, neighborhood into my neighbor's backyard, into, I don't know, your backyard? Is that what you're expecting me to do? The end game is still, the game is rigged. I don't have enough means. I was brought here as a slave, as a victim, to be subjected to all of that. No matter how and what I do and how much I do and how much effort do I exert while I'm being kept in this situation, in this environment, while you have all the powers unobstructed, while you abuse your powers and you inflict all this bullshit, all this harm and direct all your malice my way, uh, the end game is the same. I am the victim. I am the uh, sort of the receiving party of all the bullshit that you're sending my way, but I am not recruiting myself into your ranks, okay? I am not interested in all of this BS that you are uh, investigating. What I wanted when I came here, I wanted a normal life, a normal residence, a normal living. I wanted to have uh, friends. I wanted to have normal employment where I could uh, uh, realize myself. But guess what? Of course, you've uh, perpetuated all of my pain points that you've learned about from back home, where you brought your uh, Shalabas Dalmatavas and your Shalabas uh, other um, overprivileged, overrewarded, uh, with uh, too much money and with the picture-perfect families, etc., etc., etc. And so you've recruited uh, your groups and ranks of people who were interested in this sort of uh, uh, image. You got it. You, you got most of the underprivileged wives who, uh, like a uh, herd, sort of um, migrated themselves after the image that you created. Reading us, ethnically Slavic females of any opportunities to establish a normal life with uh, equally ethnically Slavic males, okay? So I, I stood no chances. I stood no chances um, before the Shalavas Dalmatavas with all the monies and all the picture-perfect families. I stood no chances with uh, genetically superior, uh, slimmer, uh, more petite, uh, more female, more childlike, um, girls, sort of uh, princesses, okay, uh, tiny, miniature, they have all the choices in the world. They can have any male, they can establish family with practically anyone. They have all of the choices in the world, okay? They can fit themselves here or they can fit themselves there. All of the guys like them. They have plenty of choices for reproductive uh, purposes, okay? I didn't have any choices. Family-wise, I didn't have any choices um, socioeconomically, okay? I didn't have any choices uh, in terms of reproductive rights. I am large. And yes, I am large primarily because I didn't have uh, the mother and the father and the family that I wanted. Um, you know, all those uh, uh, Shalavas Dalmatavas with a lot of money and picture perfect families, they got themselves all the entertainment and all of the uh, sort of uh, uh, boyfriends and admirers and followers that uh, went uh, after them into the immigration slash extermination camp of United States of America. Okay, I stood no chance. I stood no chance. I didn't have uh, uh, near the amount of money that Dalmatavas had and the Stapov had and all of those uh, sort of uh, privileged uh, folks that you've uh, um, paraded through the ranks of underprivileged Russians who were still remaining behind in the enemy's territory um, of post-Soviet Union. Okay, so I stood no chance. I stood no chance genetically, physiologically. Um, before all of the miniature um, Asian girls with the families and the heritages and the inheritances and uh, all those uh, slim pitted bodies that are in uh, bog amongst all of the uh, all of the uh, male world. Let's 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 admit that. My choices are 
intensively and expensively unfair. My choices in life, my opportunities in life are close to non-existent. I was born into slavery and nursehood. I was born into debt and bondage and poverty, etc., etc., etc. And you've picked me up Assuming that, okay, so I've already accustomed myself to the poverty, to the bondage, to the, uh, all of the denial of rights and being an inanimate object that can be implanted into this situation or into that situation with no repercussions and uh, uh, sort of uh, consequences. Okay, so you've picked me up and uh, you've decided, okay, let's uh, take her out, target uh, her for, for bioterrorism, and keep her in the... Uh, harm's way and uh, attempt ethnic cleansing, okay? Uh, there are so many underprivileged Slavic females and she's so large. Let's pair her up with some Turka, right? With some uh, Hachi, whatever, Middle Eastern or uh, some other uh, black hairy dude. They like females like me, yeah? I was fucked up as a person. I was fucked up as a human being. Because in place of family and love, I was uh, being stuffed with food. And yeah, this is my choice in life. I don't have any other choices. No, and you are still, to this day, to me being 38 years of age, you are parading me through all of the workplaces where males are being promoted, over-promoted, rewarded, regardless of their genetic and uh, physiological factors, where women are being uh, promoted and over-promoted for their uh, capacity to exhibit themselves, okay, and to sort of uh, blow all the clients being thrown their way, okay? And I'm as a genetically inferior, okay, let's call it that, genetically inferior, with the very suspect family status of mother being a, a victim of crimes against humanity, and I am, as a consequence, a secondary one, let's dispose of her. Just expand, okay? An inanimate object, throw it out and be done with it. Let's give her an opportunity to establish her own business. Establishment of my own business is a bullshit idea. It's a non-existent notion in the environment where I don't have any human rights. I don't have reliable, trustworthy communications, channels of communications, and uh, uh, case of uh, email and phone communications. I don't have uh, um, uh, social circles. I am not native, local, I'm underprivileged, um, my residence is being tarnished, vandalized, I've been denied fair choice in choosing a place of residence in the first place, okay, I've been again targeted for uh, bioterrorism, and so in this environment, You've dismissed me from all of the jobs, or and or you recruited me into bogus jobs just to be dismissed afterwards. You are then presenting me with an opportunity to lead my own business. Do you really think I am that dumb? And again, this is a public uh, video communication that I'm going to post and upload to my YouTube channel for everyone to see. I am being subjected to involuntary detention because I do not have any other term for my current situation here for being denied any opportunities to defend my rights and to provide for myself. And when I say defend my rights is that I don't have the means to fight off and fight with and or defend myself against attacks from um intelligence officers that employ all the techno uh, technological tactics and all of the human tactics they have up their sleeves, given all the financial means that they have to direct at me. It's a losing game. I demand to be taken out of the situation and of the state of being a victim for no reason whatsoever. I have been lured 
into the extermination camp under false pretenses. This life is a lie that Canada directed at me as a child. As a child.